and welcome everyone to the finale of season 10 of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. Oh man, the wrap up for Obsidian Flames. It has been a very fun season so far, and I mean, every episode, the leader has changed. So Haley and Colin, our current leaders at 51 points, are probably sitting there just quaking in their boots. I know, yeah, it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, I don't think we've ever seen that happen, where it's like each, like, you know, successive episode has just been that much more competitive. But what's even crazier is the current team competition yes. because Haley and Colin did a huge amount of heavy lifting last week for Team Electric with 51 points. But otherwise, Team Electric hasn't had a great showing. They are still in first overall on the, the team leaderboard with 76 points. But, but only by three. Yeah, following by Water at 73 points and then Fire with 72 points. And then our, our reigning champions, Grass, all the way down at 29 points. So we've got some like some stats over here that we can bring up as we're opening up packs yes. today. We've got a current two-way tie for quality eighth place uh, with 12 points between Megan K and Kingdom Cam. Uh, and then we also have a two-way tie for the Big Steve Award at the moment between Dom and Games Bun, yes. uh, who both have five points and share a total rare card value. Yes. And then the bottom of the pack right now is just a massive multi-way tie, so we are still contemplating exactly how to divvy out uh, that finisher award. Yeah, we'll see how many people are tied for last at the end of this episode. Yes. But um, otherwise, let's just dive on into it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you right. do the honors? Of course. Any predictions? I mean, we've had rockets bubbling twice. We've had grass once. Let's see what we get. Maybe water. I feel like I keep thinking it's going to be water, and it, and is. it is. Wow. Oh, man. We get to put Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Oh, how oh, fun. Man, I'm trying to think how many how many water types we've been seeing inside of this, like, what equation. The, the Palafin and the Finian, uh, whatever is in there. Okay, Palafin. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, that's true. In. Is in there. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, randomly chosen common chase cards. Got to do it. Hold on. Open this pack right here, which is just off to the side, and we're gonna get them out of here. You can watch it live. This is so exciting. It's so very thrilling. Watch this be a great pack. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna do. Let's see. Common. No, that's already been one. So was that. Oddish. Dratini. Dartrix. Wow. Bam. Oddish, oh man, so it would have been a good week for grass. Oh, what oh man, pack. look, somebody is spared a clay doll. Someone there we go. is spared a clay doll. So there we go. Would have been a great week for grass, but there you go. Those are our different chase cards for the week. Okay. All right. All right, Jay, you ready to open some packs? Let's do it. All right, our first contestant on the day is Caitlin, who has been with us for quite some time, coming off just a single point season last time, so maybe looking for that last place tie right now. Gosh, who knows what's gonna happen down there. I know, yeah, it's, I mean, that, that thing's just heating up. It's like, this has been such a weird box for us because there are so few rare cards so that like the ties are just everywhere. So we got uh, the eyeball all energy. energy for Caitlyn. We have the Capsicum, the Clefairy, Crib Brawler, Volcarona, Altaria, Brassius, Litwick, Palpitoad. the Palpitoad will score and the Toxtricity will score, but that's just gonna be two points. So twice as good as last season. Caitlin. Not so bad, way to go. You're yeah. on an upward trend. We're there proud you of you. Well done, well I, done. I suspect that next month, Three points. Three, three, if not four. Oh, wow. Double it again. Wow. You can do it. All right, next up is 
Brooke. Brooke. Brooke, former season champion way back in season three. Yep, you gotta watch out for the former champs. They, they always have something up their sleeve. They can never be predicted. Let's see what we got today. Rock we got the Rock is Pummeling. Mm -hmm. It's been a big one this season. They got the Electric, the Salandit, the Varum, the Smoliv, the Wishcash, the Kangaskhan, the Camera Up, the Glimmit, the Smoliv. Oh, Again, we got a triple hit. hit on the Claydol. Oh, oh my gosh, just Man. two points for Brooke. But as ever, you know, champions do be bringing that, uh, that critical hit energy. That extra heat. They knew, knew to bring it, but couldn't hit anything big with it. Not, not quite the multiplier you want there, but that's okay, that's okay. No, Better not. luck next time, Brooke. Yeah, next up we have Sydney, who is, what, coming off a three-point season. Sydney's been looking for a big break here. Just had some, like, her highest finish ever is with 10 points. So, looking for something bigger. Sydney is our hairstylist friend from, oh, here we go. Bam, the grass energy. No, it's not grass, we're looking for water. I'm sorry. Look that at you. was last episode. That was last episode. <laughs> but you do get a Scyther. That's amazing. Zigzagoon, Palpatoad, Squabbit, Bronzong, Beartick, Charmeleon, the Surskit, the Grumpick, and the Maridon, our first ultra rare of the day. Let's see, number 79 on the set. It's our second one, I believe, that we've pulled. Comes in at $1.49, so we'll round up to two points go. overall for the Maridon. Four Four points, Four so. points on the pack. There we go. Better than last season at three points. You know, it is our leading scorer of the day as well. There you go. So, leader of the day. <laughs> leader of the day. We don't have an award for that or no, anything. No, we don't. But you yeah. know, at least you can pat yourself on the back at least for a few more minutes. Exactly. All right. Next up, we have Heather Lynn. All right. It's our first contestant of the day from Team Electric, and right. I feel like there's kind of a fun fact about Electric right now. We mentioned at the beginning that um, Haley and Colin are doing a huge amount of lifting yes. in terms of like the overall score for the team competition, and what that means is that in order to contribute to Team Electric's overall score, all you need to do is score more than five points. Right, because um, like the way it works is the top five people's scores get calculated into the total. Exactly, yeah. exactly correct, yep. So that's that's what we're looking for. So all we need is six points and then you are contributing to your team's potential victory. Yes. You are currently overall in first place, so let's can see. Can we extend the lead? Let's see if we can get six points. Salad that's Energy again, good. got the Boon Suite, Brophy the Froakie score, the, uh, the Surskit, the Skarmory, the Espeon, the Sharpie. Espeon and Sharpie. Sharpedo. Best friends Gosh. forever, the Chandelure, the... Crow. Oh, well, actually the Sharpedo will score. Oh, you're right, that's, that's good, good catch. As will the Cryogonal. Yep, that's right. And, and the then, Doctor, so four points. So four points, there we go. So not quite enough to tip scales on that five point that we're looking for, five points plus. But either which way, enjoy your uh, your partnership between Sharpedo and Espeon. The Espeon and Lifelong friends. What is going on? They're just clearly coming off the line that way. <laughs> All right, next up we have got Justin H, who according to my notes is a uh, known four times multiplier player in the past. There we go, yeah, and, and Justin H, this is another one because our first Grass contestant of the day. Grass has been struggling this season in the team right. competition, which is odd for the reigning champs. All, all Justin has to do is score more than four points. More than four points, that's yes. all we're looking for, and Grass will at least increase their score some. It's what I like to call a small order. Yeah, maybe they need some small lives. The Melt and the Houndoom, the Magnus and the Crabominable, the Toad School, the Skarmory, and the Clay Doll. Uh, well, it's it's bad news for Grass, but at least Justin is tied for last. Yeah, yeah. So that's With that's that something you can sensor. yeah you can take you know, just double check. I think you're right, but yeah, 14 cents for that yeah, one. Bam. For the wow, uh, sorry Justin and sorry Grass. I yeah, know it's too you bad. You got plenty more bad. bites at the apple today, I though. Know. Don't you worry. We'll see how they do. The bites are small, I should say. And next up is Palo Azul. All right, Palo who is a relatively new player, just their third season ever with us, and only their fifth pack ever. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's see, how nice. we gonna do, Palo? All right, again, this is electric, so we just need six points to score, so let's see, they got the Buizel, the Wooper, the Fantuff, the Vulpix, the Lapras will score, score. the Masquerade, the Gumshoe, the Pidgeotto will not, the Tadbulb will not, and the, the Dark Darkrai, Red. wow. Can't get above the threshold to score, and with two points, you are out of last place contention, so. Not the best pack there for Azul, but you know what? Darkrai coming your way. Better luck next time. And again, next season we're diving into a three month long season, so you will get much more uh, opportunities to score and overall contribute. So, Indeed. yeah, something to look forward to. All right, next up we have got Ryan, who let's see is coming off of a four point season. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
can we get a little bit? What does fire need to score? Fire needs uh, more than eight to score. So they are, as a group, a oh. bit more competitive. There you go. So they've been being, really have the teamwork option. And here we go. We have our first uh, type advantage of the day and a Wiglet off the top. So it's off to a good start. Lechonk, Tadbulb, Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Dragonair, Ortega, Granbull, and Palafin. So, so that'll be what? One, two, six points. three times... Two is six points. Six they haven't put a single chase card today. Not yet, not yet, which is super strange, but uh, getting a little bit of usage out of that multiplier though, also still not quite enough for anybody to be contributing to the overall team score, which I really feel like is like the conversation for this week. It's just unbelievable. Right, all right, next up in is Tempest Blade for Grass. All right, Can Gra they put more points on the board. Grass is just sitting on their bench over there. They're all, I feel like they're just like leaning in, they're sweating, they're like, come on guys, we can do we this. Can do it, last minute, we surge. All right, so we got the Metal Energy, so nothing there, the Tiny Ammo. Spoink. The Spoink! I love that, the Cub Jew will score, the Drill Burr, the Lanoon, the Darmanitan. The Dartrix will score. The Dartrix will score. Good save. The Stunfisk will not. The new Mel will not. Oh, but oh, the Hound Doom will. will. So let's That's see. That's something. I guess if it's depending on the points, and this doesn't look like a huge scoring card, yeah. what do we need? Was it two? It's $1.38 mm -hmm. for this one. So two points. Wow. Just four, another four point pack for grass means that score does not move. Not at all. Man, yeah. it's, it's just like but it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. It we're does, just, we're it just does warming feel up. Like it has to happen. Everybody's Something's a little tense coming into the right. Into it's the day. like no one wants to like show their hand. No one wants to be like the first, the one to make the first move. I know, because then 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 the chase happens. Right. You know? Then, then it's everybody like, here we then go. everybody's hackled. But someone's got to break from the peloton and just get out there. So maybe Akron guy will be the one to do it for Team Fire. For Team Fire. So we're looking for like a nine point pack, right? Team, that, team Fire is the eight point eight pack, point or more packs. than eight points. So nine nine eight. will nine will get you on the board. So. Nine will get you on the board, but think. 14 takes the lead, so that'd be pretty impressive if we can get there. Rock is pummeling energy off the top. Scyther, Zigzag, and Palp Total score. Squavit, Mawile, Arvin, Stunfus, Boon Sweet, Masquerade, and Scovelin. So still, Man. everyone playing so timid today. Playing timid. That's okay. That's okay. Two just, points. You know what? As ever, you know, sometimes sometimes I get worried if we pull too much too early because then I'm like, what what could possibly be left inside of the the stack for us to just still work? Exactly. With? I mean, the other day we, when we pulled the Charizard, I think it was second. Pack in week two, and it was like, whoa! Oh, man, it's like, what? What's left? What's left? Exactly. So next up, we have Berkeley Comstock. Oh, one of my all-time faves. Yeah. One of my all-time faves. Your current favorite. My, my current fave. Yeah. yeah in indeed, fact. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Berkeley for Team Electric. Let's see what we can do here. Again, Electric just needs more than five. Just to extend their lead at to the moment. Extend their lead. They are in first place. They do well, have the, the teardrop. Yeah. Yep. The so we got the boon suite. The, the Froakie Froakie will score. Nice. The Deramuka. Der Deramaka. There we go. The Surskit. The Pupitar. The Togetic. The Volcarona. The Thunderous will, will score. score. The oh, Belly, Belly Bolt. Bolt will score. And the Togekiss will score. That's so Jay's go. favorite on the season. It is not. Uh, let's see. So we at least got uh, for number two hundred one on that Belly Bolt. We've we've pulled one of these before. I can't this remember what the score this was. This looks like it could extend Electric's lead a little bit. So we got a dollar fifty five for the Belly Bolt. So that'll round up to two. two. Three, four, five times it was ten. Ten points. There we go. So what was their what was their break even spot for, for electric? You needed just more than five. just more than five. So this increases them by five points overall. Yes, yes, it does indeed. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty impressive for for team electric. Or would it be four points overall? Because you need more than five. So six would do it. So six would do it, but you have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, five. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's like a weird math where it's right, like yeah. ten minus like, five wait. is not six, but yeah. it's somehow yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, so there we go. So uh, electric score should now be if we scroll up. Let's see over there. They are now at eighty-one points, I believe, if our math is all correct. If so. our math is all correct, yep. So we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep a watchful eye on that for you guys as we move forward. But well done, to Team Electric. Indeed, well done to Berkeley Comstock. Really wants that pin. That's exactly it. All right. Next up is Collard Cow, who makes pizza. Oh man, I could go for some pizza. Dude, I might get some pizza for lunch. You know what? Is like it me? Is it you? I'm gonna go for it. Go for it. You know what? Yeah. All right, Collard Cow. Let's see what we can do for you. Yeah. For Team Water, who Water is overall has the highest um, average score. Okay. I suppose you could say because they they need more than nine points to to put anything on the board. So let's see what we can do for Water. We got the Caspa Kid, the Snubble, the Bronzor, the Gloom, the Frogadier will score, the Stunfist, the Salazzle, the Flamigo will not, the Drillbur will not, and the Gita. Get out of here! Oh my we goodness. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a little bit unexciting, but either way, now we have yeah. a running gag that makes. 
makes the Gitas more fun. Exactly. You know, the champion of the Paldea region. So hey, how about that? There you go. That's fun. All right, next up is Gildruin. Gildruin for Team Grass. We got we got a bit of a pack of grass coming through here over the next several packs. Grass so, pack. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how grass will yeah, perform. We're in the like, middle of the box. Sometimes it feels like the middle of the box is a good area for some big pulls. Feels like if you stack it, like you're guaranteed to get something in there. You I know, hope. I you mean, hope. that's the idea. Nothing's guaranteed in this game, of course. We have Metal Energy, the Glimit, Swablu, the Oddish will score. The Milk. Dratini will oh, yeah, score. Go, 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 yeah, because those are the chase cards. The Armourouge, Amoongus, Tyler Lechonk, Lycanroc does not score, and Rhyme! The Rhyme! So there's something. It's it's our second one. I think we but pulled one last week. I think we week. did. I don't know if it's very big, though. Yeah, I don't think it terribly is. A dollar four for the Rhyme. Uh, so so just, good rounding, but still just two, three, four points overall. Would have loved to see a multiplier in there, but they don't quite get one. That in grass is just basically like they're meeting such resistance at the number four right now. So it's the the two highest grass players we've had today have both hit four points. And uh. We need more than four to contribute to, to grass's score. And what grass really needs is like like 20, 30 points. They at need once. they need a big pull. They, they need, need a, they need a zard of their own. All right, next up we have uh, Jesse Utile. All right, Jesse. Now, Jesse, this is your moment to shine because the last, this is only their third pack ever. So they entered in round three of season eight with two points. In season nine went to three. Can they extend it? Hopefully more than four. Four, four would be four the four story would be, of the day. It is. So we got the tiny ammo, the spoink, spoink the cub chew. chew will score, the drill burr, the poltergeist, yep. uh, the toad scroll, the nine tails, the umbreon, the squave will not score. The, the scissor. Oh my gosh. Back down to two. Back down to two for, for Jesse Team Grass. Utah. There Man, you go. No two. one can get on the board. Here we go. In the midst of the grass, we have a single water player, a crowd favorite, if I'm not mistaken, in Lando Mando. Lando Mando! What up? All right, can Lando Mando, who only had three points last season, just like there's two more grass after this, so you. Okay. It's like yeah, we'll, we'll Lando like like weave like, into the grass and just be like sort of like I'm I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna take snake that in the grass. Yes, as it yes, were. it were. Right, yes, that'd be that'd be very unfortunate. We have the fire, the Wiggle will score, Barboche, the Chonk, Tadbulb, Umbreon, Poppy. Lunatone, Nose Pass, Caps Kid, and Thunderous. So no, Ooh, no, nothing. Lando Mando does not do it. Just squeaks by with two points to themselves. Grass breathes a sigh of relief. It does, and they have I two mean, more at bat here. Something's got to go, people. Something, something's I know. Gotta go. There's gonna be. There's something good in here. I know. There must be. I there know. must be. The 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 tension continues to rise as we go to Methy. Methy for Team Grass. Yes, let's see it. Every well, everybody's sort of like they're like they're the, they're the champs. They must be able to do it. Do it. People are holding now, you know? We have the Fireball Energy, so nothing exciting there. The Lampant, the Togepi, the Lechonk, the Grievar, the Wogtrio will score, the Kangaskhan, the Wish Cash, the Soul Rock will not score, the Dagger Diggersby will not score, and the Palafin will get twice. Well, so but three, three points for three Methy. Three points for Methy. Man, all right. Come on, Box. Come on, here we go. We're five packs in a row, almost. Four of the last five have been to grass. One of them. I mean, I guess the rhyme was in there, but it just didn't do very much. It did, yeah. It didn't yeah. move the needle at all. <laughs> So. Move it. Let's see if Robot Wiz, our next contestant for grass for a few for a few packs here. Yep, yep. Can break the number four seal just over that. I mean, to, even if they got five, their score goes up to like twenty-seven, so they're still way behind. But I just want to see it move. I just want to see it move. It's, it seems like they should be able to get some lift in there somehow. The Altaria, letter of encouragement, the Chandelure, the Palafin will score. The Electros will not, and the Toga Kiss. Bummer. Yeah, so, so that's a three. That's three that's though. Three. The Palafin yeah. Gets for two. two. Yep. So poor Team Grass went through a little surge there. They got four points, two points, three points, three points. So just not what you <coughs> want to see. Meanwhile, the, the champs coming into the day or the pending champs with Team Electric, Berkeley Comstock up there just being like, yeah, I got 10. What up? Yo, no. Is that the highest one today is 10? 10 is, 10 is our highest on the day, okay. followed by a six pointer for Team Fire and Ryan. It's so a low scoring set it overall. Is, it is a low, the low scoring set that the, because it's been out for so long, I think that prices probably yeah. drop a little bit but as we predicted in in episode one that meant it would be a tight race and three out of the four teams are making that true it's so true it's yeah. so true so who's up next next up we have vicky vicky all right for team water for again team water i know can team, they they team. Team Water, they're 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 chomping at the heels again. We're in the middle of the box. Oh, sometimes no, sorry, no. keep that. That was last week. I'm like still used to it's it. Like locked into your brain. We got the Caspic Kid, the Snubble, the Bronzor, the Gloom, the Dugtria, the Houndstone, the Diggersby, the Meltan will not score. The Darumaka will not score. And the oh, Kaleido. the Kaleido. Oh, another yet another man. 
down for the last place roulette. We are gonna have to go into overtime of sorts in order to, to sort out this last place award. So yeah. keep your eyes on that conversation as well, people. I know, all right, next up we have got Beck Squad. The uh, hated rival of Becky Borst. Ah yes, the Battle of the Becks as it were. Battle of the Becks. Let's see what we can do for Beck Squad here. It All looks right. like last season they were potentially a last place contender. I know. They wrote the 11 cent score down. I know. Oh, so you, one point pass. You, you're, probably they don't want to play it all, although who I mean, who knows? They've been coming in doubles sometimes here. Let's see. Glimit, the Swablu, the, the Oddish, Oddish, the Dratini, the, Dratini, the, the Dark Wow, Chips. look Whoa. at that. One, two, three. It's the same. Scott, you know what, though? If they're in a row like this. It reminds me of the pack we opened to get the chase cards, and that ended in a clay doll. So I, let's just, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. Okay. We got the Crabrawler, the Scovelin Will Score, and the Dark Ride. So that's going to be a five point pack total. Five point pack for Team Fire. So, I mean, honestly, like using, using as much as. As they could, as they can, yeah, I mean, there's but. only so much you can do about pulling a rare card right there at the end. But Man, but all three chase cards. All it feels like maybe we need some sort of mechanic for if you get all three chase cards, like that's a critical hit of sorts or something. It, it does feel like that. Yeah, yeah. That, could be, that could be something we think on. Yeah. yeah, not now. That doesn't count right now. Not so, now. Not yeah. today. We'll, but maybe in the future. We'll put it on the put it on the old drawing board, as they say. As they say. All right. Next up, we have got below average gaming dad, rival of low skill Rob. Right. Yes. Yeah, so low skill Rob, below average gaming dad they've been duking it out mm -hmm. we know that these are both players that have a lot of heart yeah you know they That's are it. they got a lot of heart but you know watching them box it's like well that guy's got like you know poor wrists and this guy has weak ankles so it's a bit of a match it's you know? a bit of a match it's a bit of a match but we're rooting for them both all the time exactly. and for always they're fan favorites you right. love to see it we got the toga tomorrow we got the mawile the new mel the two the tad bold the umbreon the floats will score. score the lapras will score the pulse guys will not score the toga tomorrow oh, critical, gives hit. A critical hit there we go oh, oh look at this absol. absol that's so pretty dude Dang. absol is just one of my favorite design pokemon ever that is glorious number 214 on the set that's our first one of the season you know what's great about Absol is that it's got kind of a blade for a head. Uh, you know what? I like you know, it. Look, uh, if you compare it to the scythe down here, it's kind of the same shape. You know? Yeah, right I see there. It. I see it. Yep. It's like it's like they're inspired. Exactly. You know, you know they're um, they're peas in a pod, Absol and Scyther. Well, regardless of how bladed one's head may be, it doesn't change the fact that they're only worth a dollar and forty eight cents. So. Such a bummer. So Such it's only going to be two, three, four times two is going to be still an eight point pack for fire. An eight point pack for fire, which I think is the line oh. that they need, but it is not quite enough to actually contribute. So we need uh, more than eight. Everyone hitting the line today, even with the crit, but either way, way to go. Uh, below average gaming dad pulling that Absol. Very fun. All right, next up, Mod Squad, Emily Stock on the table. Let's see, uh, can Emily break the mod curse? She's done it before, she's got it up to 27. So. Yeah, yeah, Emily's been able to, to to break free a little bit. Can I help you up? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go, go for, for it. it. Okay, yeah. Eastock, I got you. Hopefully this pays off well. And you're like, thank goodness Ben opened for me. Exactly. Um, but yeah, Emily is one of our moderators over on Discord, so undying gratitude. We've got the Rockus Pummeling, would have been great at the beginning of the season. we got the Lampant, the Togepi, the Lechonk, the Grievard, the Solrock, the Houndoom. So the many eyeball cards know, in this one. I know, we've got the Magnemite, which will not score. The Froakie, which will. will not, oh, yep, there we go. And the Toxtricity, so, so just, just two points. Two for old Emily Eastock there. Bam. Well, even so. Congrats! You've uh, you know you played. You played. You you, you, you know, came you and came you were and you you played. You participated. You participated. Well done. Good for you. All right. Next up, we have got the Bourbonator for Team Electric. Coming off a 14 point season, if they can put up 14 points for Electric right now, they are feeling good they about are, those They pins. are feeling good. They are feeling good. I mean, there's still the potential. I still feel like there's a there's something quality left inside of this box. A lot of packs up. I know. Open. We haven't. Yeah, we haven't quite hit. Haven't quite hit the big one yet. Here we go. Type advantage. Can't let now. If they get a big one here, they could really cement uh, the pins. Okay, Let's see. The Finizen, the Ball Toy, the Ball Wow, Boofalot, Crabominal, Sinister. Oh, the Scizor and the Gita. There we go. Oh, man, the Gita's, of course, only one, but you got that lovely Scizor in here. 
Electric about to say, get out of here to everyone else. So we got $3.05 on the scissor, which round out to four, five, four, six, five, six times, times two, two is going to be 12. Man. That does mean Electric increases their lead again. Again, oh, man. man. Electric really having the best day today with the two high points coming from Berkeley Comstock and the Bourbonator for Team Electric. Like 10 points and 12 points, respectively. Very impressive showing. Everybody else is just like, come on, guys. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. I can't believe how many of those scissors we've pulled. I know. That's like the third I one. I know, yeah. Crazy. All right. Uh, next up, we have Kyle McCoon, former rookie of the day. His first pack ever was 40 points. Oh, I remember Kyle. Yeah. But since then, just three and two points. Okay, okay. So, so kind of came in strong. Sometimes rookie debuts can be like that, where they're just like, but then they got to get their footing again. You know, they're, they're right. new to the pro stage and they're, they're just getting used to the pressure. Right. They get a little bit of beginner's luck. Lycan Rock, Probapass, the Lanoon, no, Young Goose. Excadrill, the Kangas, got so many normal cards, and the Entei. Man, sadly, just a single point there. Yes, Not indeed. going to cut it, one is afraid. One must be indeed, because that's even that's not even good enough to put you in contention for last place, unfortunately. Yeah, the Entei is just a little too useful for that. A little too useful, a little too OP. Yep. All right, next up we have Embug. Embug for Team Grass. For Team Grass. Starting to show up again. We got a little pairing back to back for, for Team Grass. Yep, so. Embug into Shadow Loop, a classic combination. The old one two punch. The old one two punch. I mean, the big conversation here really is if, if somebody can pull a Zard. Can you know, someone and, and do it? Can someone do it? We're about to find out. Even if Let's they see. do, I'm not sure it's enough. I don't know if it would yeah. be. I don't know if it would quite tip the scale. We have the Sinistee, the Pontiard, the Charcadet, the Toxel, the Masquerade, the Gumshoe, the Pupitar, the Trevenant will not score. The Town Store will not score. The Gita. And the Gita. Wow, the lone it's, Gita. It's the lone Gita. Let's Big see. Geet out energy. Yes, indeed. Does mm. the Gita do anything? 24 cents, so it really doesn't. So just the one point there. Disfortunate. For Embug. Uh, Disfortunate indeed. I couldn't have said it any better myself. All right, now we are on to Shadow Loop. And hey, you know what? You can do better. Let's see if you can, actually. Everybody who's un unaware of why we say this is because Shadow Loop has been, they've been, they've been fighting an uphill battle. You know, but, we, but you know what? The thing is, we've never lost faith. We know they can do better. We know that they can do better. And maybe this is it. Can they be the savior grass needs? Not a good start. Not a good but start. But we're going to find out. We've got Rowlet, Diglett, Combi, Houndor, King Gambit, Oinkalone, Letter of Encouragement. How, how apropos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give it all, all here. Sorry. Minor technical difficulty. The Carvana will score, the Dratini will score, and Coridon! There we go. I think, is that our first Coridon? I think it's our second. Second, I think I've yeah. seen one of those before, so let's see what the Coridon does for it's only, and there's only a handful of these that can do it, but less than one, or less wow. than a dollar. So 89 cents will round up to just one point. So, so one, two, three, three points. Total. But you know what, Shadow Loop? You can do better. You can do better. I think you can do better. We know. We know it. We I'm know not, it's inside of it's you. It's not. Well, I'm not like disappointed in you. It's just I know you can do better. Right. You know. Right. We're just still trying to. We're trying to tap into your potential that. is there. Yes. Unlimited potential. Unlimited. You just have to. You know. You show up to practice every day. You open a couple packs. You just got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. We'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next up, we have a Tyler Gillies, who right. has an identical twin brother, which is cool that because is. I have identical twin. Sons. Sons. Humans. Humans. They live in my house. <laughs> All right, we got the Dark Teardrop Energy. We got the Toga Tomorrow, the Mawile, the New Mel, the Tide Bulb, the Malamar, the Grumpig, the Clod Sire, the Lanoon will not score, the Fantop will not score, oh, and the just Toga the Toga Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> How disappointing for Tyler Gillies. Not even a second point to share with his twin. I know, and 18 cents makes it mm. too valuable for last place, mm. unfortunately. So just one point for Tyler Gillies. Goodness gracious, do I feel like we have been fighting an uphill battle know. here at the finale. Something's here. Something is in these last, what, nine packs it here? It has to be. Something, where's that Zard, yo? We chasing that Zard big time. Who is gonna get it? Next up we have Annika for Team Water. Let's go, let's see it, Annika. You can do it. Or can you? We'll find out. Can someone steal the lead away from Electric? We have the fire. Fungus, Larvesta, Finizen will score, Baltoy, Skarmory, Wugtrio, Darmanitan, Rhyme, Brassius, and Scizor! Which, you know, it's, it's great that you got a Scizor, but it's only three points. Just three points, just three points. Just three there. 
Enjoy your scissor, probably frame it on your wall, tell all your friends. No, most certainly that is what's gonna happen. Exactly. How could it not? How could it not? How couldn't it? All right, next up for Team Electric, Ty trying to again extend the lead is Blue Malamute. Team Electric's been hot today. They have. Like, there's, there's, I mean, there's they've been no, hot. No two ways they're, about it. Yeah, I mean, the, what's crazy is they haven't really been hot all season, and then, you know, Haley and Colin pull the Zard, and suddenly it literally lights a fire beneath their tuchuses, and look at them go. I look at them go. Look at this. They're even like they're sporting, boom. They're, they're sporting, sporting colors. Team energy. Yeah. Got the Lillipop, the Heatmore, the Tim, Tim Pole, the Magnet scores. Oh, this you are correct. Good save. The Magneton, the Togetic, the Nine Tails, the Poltergeist, the Houndoom will not score. The Charmeleon will not score. Oh, oh the Titar! Electric. <laughs> Electric. Look at that. Look at that. So just just really sporting the colors the whole way through, no matter what. Blue it's Mala a team that, that knows who they are. Is that number 211 on the set? It is, is the, yeah. So that's going to be worth $4.06. We'll round up to 5.6 with these simple. So holes. six total. Not going to increase the score, but still a fun card to bring home. And six points is pretty good. And I, I want to say that that's about like fourth on the day. Uh, realistically, only behind two teammates from Team Electric and below average gaming dad for Team Fire with eight points. So, oh, man. I mean, it's just, it's been a hard fought battle here. It's a low so. scoring box. All it right. Is. Next up for, again, Team Electric is Dakota from the Mod Squad. From the Mod Squad. Dakota has famously, um, like, has ne needs something to come through. Needs something to come through. I mean, yeah. they came up eight points. It's not the worst season she's ever had. Let's see, metal. Toad School, Eevee, Magnemite, Larvitar, Chandelure, Patrol Clap, Blossom, the Scissor will score, the Cub Jew will score, and the Toxtricity. So, I mean, you get that lovely Scissor energy, Dakota, but not, not gonna cut it. Not gonna, not cut, gonna it. cut it. Not quite, not quite as well as Scissor can cut it. As right, we yeah, know. I mean, Scissors cut things, but these points, not making a big difference. Not making a big difference, unfortunately. Yeah. But better luck next time. Thank you, as always. We'll see, we'll see you for gaming. That's you know, exactly later. right, yeah. All right, let's see. Grass, Ben, has just three players left, and one of them is about to come to bat. It is Ethereal Squirrel. F Squirrel. F Squirrel, indeed. In the flesh, in the fur. Going back to my Diablo two days, whenever something was Ethereal, it always meant that it could pack a little bit more punch, although it couldn't be repaired. Right. That was the condition. So maybe we'll see if the, some damage control can be done. They're sporting team colors, just like we've seen before, With but it doesn't do anything for us. With the Salad Energy, we've got the Sinistee, the Pontiard, the Charcadet, the Toxel, the Trevenant, the Belly Bolt, the Flamigo, the Dolive will not score, the Glaferi will not score. Oh, the, the Glamora. Glamora. I mean, it will score, but to what end? Let's How see, much will it score? 123 on the set. That's Scyther's number in the Pokedex. There we go. So we got $1.22. We'll round up to two points for F Squirrel. So once again, Grass has come up to bat and they've just not been able to walk away with quite enough. Looking Despite rough. the fact that they're pulling some full art cards, they're they just, there's no value behind them. Right? All right, next up we've got Herbert Chorley. Herbert Chorley at all service. Former junior assistant to the pr British Prime Minister until he had an adverse reaction to a poorly performed Imperius curse. Ah, yes. Started Potter. acting like a duck. Indeed, indeed. All right, so this is Herbert Chorley's second pack ever. So last season they were a rookie. They came in with four packs, or four points. Can they rock? Some points for Team Water here. We got Rowlet, Diglett, Combi, Houndor, Stoutland, Frogadier will score, Drampa, Vulpix, the Magneton, and the Darkrai. Man. Just two Man. Points. Dud box, you guys. We so are. far. I mean, there's still time left, but you get, it's starting to feel like, is there going to be some last pack magic going uh, on? We want to see it. We want to see it. All right. Well, here we go. We've got, uh, we talked about the rivalry earlier. It's low skill Rob. It is low skill up Rob. To bat. Can he defeat below average gaming dad who put up eight points earlier today? All right. So let's see how the rivalry plays out between between these two. We got the fire energy, mm -hmm. which almost feels like, I mean, below average gaming dad is coming in from team fire. So right. this almost feels like low skill Rob is like walking into the arena and like being like, yo, I can do what you can yeah. do too. It's a little smack talk. It's a little smack talk. Yeah. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. So we got the by sharp, the shuckle, the wiggling will score, the rock rock, the toad screw, soul rock, the houndstone, the, oh, rock, the rock rock, 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 rock,
And the that dark, dark ride, ride score and, and the thunder is so it's just gonna be six points. Oh, wow, what a valiant effort! It is, out a, it, though. it is a solid duke out between low skill Rob and uh, below average gaming dad. But low at below average gaming dad takes this round with eight points to six. Wow, impressive, impressive. impressive. Well, well done, done to, thanks, to both players. Thanks for the spectacle. You. You yeah, know? we appreciate it. We appreciate we it. All right, Grass has two players left all season. They're gonna have to hit some crazy cards here if they want any chance at those pins. Next up is Veva. Let's see it. Cross stitch is for fun. Can she cross stitch up some points is uh, the yes. question. So yeah, we're, we're talking last. There's only two two members of Team Graf, Grass left. This is, it's gotta happen now or never. Now or never, this is it. Come to play. Small of note. We've not had that many Oddishes or Dratinis or Dartrixes. We really have not. The oh, oh, there's well, an there's Oh, the gold oh. artisan and the Oh my gosh, you asked them to show up and maybe they do? All right, let's take Here a look at go. that artisan. That's a beautiful card. Let's see, is it useful, do you know, in gameplay? I mean, it is useful in gameplay. It's definitely a playable card. We haven't had one all it? season. $2.96, no. so okay, three so points. Three on that one. And then what's our T-tar number? That's going to be 66. We've already seen the more valuable one. And this one will come in at $1.50. So that's going to be three, five. It's going to be six points. Six at the end points of the day, for. Which, you know, does score, I guess. It moves them from 26 points to 28 points, I believe, on the season. Yeah, yeah. So that's oh, Team man. Grass only needed someone with four points or more to, or, or five points or more to add to their overall team score. So um, we were able to see that with Veva. A valiant effort. And, and that's the thing today. I feel like if we like, look back at the tape, like Team Grass has pulled some of our full arts. Like, they they're have. doing everything they can. They just, yeah, it's just that the, the cards aren't falling their way. The heart of the cards. Here we go. Taylor Stell for Team Electric. Only their second pack ever. Last season rookie player playing for Electric here. Can they extend the lead? Can they secure the pins? It feels like a done deal at this point, but you never want to call it in. We have got the type advantage, so there you go. Eevee, Magnemite, Larvitar, Sharpedo will score, Espeon, Floatzel, the room, the Bronzor, and the Palafin. So all the water showing up. That's going to be one, two, three, four times two. It's going to be eight points. Eight points for Team Electric. Team Electric. I so, don't think it's enough to score, but it might have been at the start of the day. At the start of the day, that would have contributed. Yep. We've had a couple of members of Team Electric throw up some nice numbers. So I think probably pushing them into that that first alternate category, but either which way. Well, here uh, we very go. impressive showing for Team Electric, who was just trying to close out their season. They've got yet another member here with Sammy. Sammy, Ben's possible sister-in-law. We still we should really ask her about it someday. One day, you know, one but day. it's more fun to just let the gag continue because right. it's like I'd, I'd like to think that, yeah. that Sammy's just quietly collecting Pokemon cards out there. Yeah. So um, we are going to see how this goes, though. We've got the Eyeball Energy, the Lillipop, the Heatmore, the Tim Pole will score, score. The Magneton, the Bronze on, the Bear Tick will score, the Charmeleon, the Buffalant will not score. Oh! They, what? They pulled two Zards. They what the pulled heck? That, Zard. that is insane. And close out the clay also and number. Okay, so let's just double check. There it is. Sammy, well done. Will they overtake Haley and Colin is the question. You know Haley and Colin is like, there's only three packs left. I think we've got it. And, th and then we pulled Someone the second chase card of all time. Uh, the second of this season. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so 48, so 47.77 so for 40, the Charizard. So, so it's 48. 48. 49, 50, it's a tie, it's 51 points. Oh my gosh, a tie for first place at 51. Oh, Although I have my. to tell, I don't know what Haley and Collins' other rare card was, but unfortunately for um, uh, Sammy here, the clay doll we know is only 14 cents. So unless Haley and Collins pulled something smaller than the clay, or bigger than the clay, or equal to the clay doll, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go check. Actually, I have our cards right here. Maybe I can check. Maybe I can check. Maybe we can check. Okay, let's, let's give it a see. look. Let's give it a look. We're about to find out. Haley and Colin on the literal edge of their seat. How could it have come down to a tie at 51 from two members from Team Electric? Who? I mean, I don't know any. I don't know any possible way that you could that you could override. All right. For the drama, I have Haley and Colin's. Uh, pack right here. Let's examine. There's their Zard. They had the Darkrai as well. 
And no other rare cards. So Ben, look up the dark ride. What is the value on this one? Okay, so what we're comparing right now is these two sets of cards. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Because there was no other rare cards for Sammy, right? Right. Okay, so, so it's whether Dark Rye beats Clay Doll. Okay, so Dark Rye. All right, so let's see. Let's see. And we know Clay Doll is worth 14 we cents. We know 14 cents is Clay Doll. So let's see. Where number, is the Dark Rye? Number 136 on the set. It's worth 18 cents. 18 cents, so Haley and Colin hold on by four cents. Oh my goodness, that is wild. Well done I to am those in guys. Utter I am in shock. shock that it is a tie. That is unbelievable. It was so cool to see both Charizards right next yeah, to right each other. Yeah, right next though. to it. There we go. Out. We pulled them both. Oh my gosh. Man. Wow. Like that box over wow, here. Wow, wow, wow. And you know what's crazy is that when I was pulling the box for today's set, I literally picked up a different box and I said, no, I don't want Not this, this one. one. I put it down, I picked up a different one. Boom. Boom. So you are welcome, is. Sammy. Congratulations. I said the same thing last week. I feel like pulling the chase card for the set is a win for the whole show together. Yeah. I feel like this is this is what we want. This is what we're going for. This is the drama. There um, it is. 51 points on the last three packs. We knew it was a slow box, and there it was. It delivered in the end. I know. We do still have two more contestants to go through. Uh PC for Team Fire. I mean Short of pulling some sort of gold zard four times multiplier, I, I think Electric pretty much has it in the bag. I know, yeah. You, I mean, yeah, it's it's so. I mean, Fire was right there with them coming into the day, but I mean, that's such a commanding lead at this point in that time. So is. let's see. Let's see what uh, PC can do. The Ventral Punch, the Entei, the Salandit, and the Thunderous. So, so that's going to be. Three. Three points there for PC. That is going to close out the season for Fire. I mean, Electric sitting on top of the fresh 51 on them. You know, they're polishing their their pin trophy cases. They are indeed. I mean, it's like I, I can't even think of like what would have to happen here. Like, I feel like you would need some measure of like a. Uh, you need like critical hit on top of type advantage. Well, I, I mean, even if it was the second best card in the set, what, uh, which is another Charizard, by the way. Right, right. I think it's only worth like 20 something points, though. So, mm, I mean, it so would really. There. Well, that would do. If you had a four times multiplier on a 20 point card, that would do it. That would give you 100 that points. That would give you, okay. yeah, or like 80. All right, but. let's see. Step one. Here we go. Wow, they do that. I, I was like, I was oh like, no. Where was your reaction? So, okay, was sorry, your... I wasn't paying attention. Okay, can so we get a critical hit? Let's. Uh, let's okay, so that, that, that was the first thing we needed to happen, yeah, that's... and it happened. All right, so we got the rhyme, the glimmit, the hurtier, the finnison, we'll score. the trio, the digger speed, the camera up, the swablu. Oh, the larvitar. That's cute. That is adorable. And, and the dark ride. Well, I don't think the larvitar is going to be worth twenty five dollars. In fact, it's not one. Dollar fifty-two for the Larvitar. So, it is, however, absolutely adorable. It is. That's so gonna be two, three, four times two. Times two is gonna be eight for Mistibios, which means they scored points for Grass. Yay! What a it way to go! It does not matter. It was a landslide victory for Team Electric and their double Charizard power. Goodness gracious! Wow. What are the odds? They're just absolutely unbelievable. Okay, you guys. For us, it has been like a full month since opening all of your packs. But of course, we had a, I think, 12, 14 way tie for last place. Crazy. A two way tie for the big Steve Award. So, what we have decided to do is basically go to a like final. Like a sudden death. Sudden death. Situation here. Yes. So, yeah, basically. Um, because you all tied, you all get the consolation prize of at least one extra pack. And so what we're gonna do is open a pack for everybody. And because we're competing for last place and for the Big Steve Award, uh, what we're looking for is still the lowest card value in each one to find out who was truly last place and who was truly just in front of Steven. Exactly, yeah. So that's that's like one of those questions where I think people might be like, wait, shouldn't the Big Steve Award be like the highest? But no, it's actually you're looking for who is the lowest person above Steven, because that would be like the person most immediately mm -hmm. above In front him. of him, so, yes. Anyway, let's kick off with Big Steve where we have Games Bun and Aaron and Tony yes. duking it out for that uh, ETB. Let's pull randomly. So okay. don't pull from the front, don't pull from the back. Here we go. Right, bam, bam, fresh box of cards here. This is going to be for our first contestant today for the uh, Big Steve Award is Games Bun. Games Bun. So looking for that low card value here. That low card, okay, all right. Let's see, what do we have? We have, got, oh, we don't have any type advantages going No, no type no, advantages. Just, just, yep. just 
raw power here. Raw power. Here yep. we go. We've got the Lillipups, the Heatmore, the Timpole, the Magneton, the Pupitar. None of these matter because, oh, I guess you could still have a critical hit. You could still have a critical hit. That's true. Yep. That's true. The Cragonall and the Glamora oh. EX. So it's sort of like a, a possible... <laughs> It, it, it could go either way. It could go either way. Like, you pulled a big card, which is great, but it might hurt your chances of winning the ETB. That's exactly right. So coming in at only 83 cents, though. Okay, so 83 cents, so there's no other rare cards. Nothing so else going. Games Bun. Games Bun. 83 cents. Let me mark that down here. Okay, dude. so what Games Bun needs for Aaron and Tony's pack is for it to be 84 cents or higher in total value. Yes. Let's see, I'm going to go third from the back there. Okay, here we go. That's the game's bun pack that we are trying to beat. There we go. Beautiful. 83 cents. Here we go. Can Aaron and Tony here, you open it. You open this that's, one. That's all right, okay. it's all right. I, I, we should play that in a slow motion replay where yeah. my hands went forward and yeah. I was like, oh, I no. no problem. Yeah, whatever, you, you can do it. <laughs> All on the so, same team here, except for Games Bun and Aaron and Tony, who right. are now officially in Pearl Ways, uh, our travels. Okay, right. so we got the Water Energy, Doesn't Matter, Lachon, Carvana, the Ball Toy, the Wooper, the Oink Cologne, the Letter of Encouragement, the Chandelure, the Stunfisk, the Toga Tomorrow, and the Scovelet. I think that's going to do it. There's almost no way the Scovelet is worth more than the Glamora. Not even at all. The Scovelin's more in that last place category. So exactly what you want to see as low as possible for Aaron and Tony with just 14 wow. cents. So at least for Games Bun, they're getting a full art card they headed are. their way as a consolation prize. And they got a whole extra pack. So there's there's that to be said for it as so well. So we'll congratulations to Aaron and Tony. Down. 14 cents. And we're gonna ride Big Steve on it. There we go. Big Steve. And that's on that, that's on a, a sleeve, not on the actual card. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We won't run on your card for you. Well, congratulations to Aaron and Tony. Big win. Well Big done. Win. All right, and now for the last place award. We have got how many people here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven? Maybe I counted that totally wrong. You'd think I could count by now. But what we're going to do is lead off with Sebastian. Seb. All right, so Seb Sebastian is going to set the bar for us. I'm going to go from your side. Oh, why not? Why yeah. not? Right over here. So far, it's proven to be kind of invaluable. So. Well, that's what they want. That's what they, they want. want. Invaluable. So the good news is you might pull something great. You could still, wouldn't it be hilarious if they pulled like the, the Charizard here? It would be wild. That's the thing. I know. Yeah, it's like there's still the potential to just get like a really amazing card, which arguably could be better than a whole ATB. Yeah. I guess, I guess, no, even if you get a critical hit, that, that does not really matter because we're just going by card value, we are not going points by, You're right, you're point. right. Yep, so don't points. even worry about that. So all of this is just for suspense. It only matters what's at the back of the pack. We have the Volcarona and the Thunderous. That is okay. going to be horribly invaluable, I have to imagine. Yes, yes indeed. So 21 cents for the Thunderous. Okay. So not as low as it can be, which is 14 cents in how all of you got here but not a bad stab at the apple to get things going. All right, 21 cents. That's what we are trying to beat. Everyone else is hoping to get less than 21 cents of value out of their pack. I feel like it's possible. There's plenty of 14 cent cards in there. Next up we have Maddie. Maddie, okay, Maddie. Let's see, 21 cents is now the score to be under. So that all those 14 centers is what brought us here in the first place. It occurs to me that we could still have another tie after this. We could, we could. Yep, so the Hound Doom that will not score, the Cub Chew will not score. score. And oh my oh, gosh, oh, and my. just like that, we have a tie again for last place at 21 what? cents for both Maddie and Sebastian. That is just absurd. The exact the, same the card. exact same card. Pulled from completely different areas. Yes. Oops. Oh. Oh, it's um, back. Yeah, okay, we're having some weird technical difficulties there, but it's working out. All right, well, there we go. So far, we still have no answer. In the most consistent battle for last place ever, Maddie and Sebastian are both at 21 cents. Come on, look at this. Look at this I right know. now. Okay. Damn. So these, oh yeah, maybe that's what we'll continue to do. We'll keep our chief contenders yeah, over, right here. over here. Okay. Yes, okay. So Maddie and Sebastian. All right, next up, we have got Rachel on okay. the board. I'm going to go from over here. All right, let's see it. Maybe another Thunderous. 
Maybe. Wouldn't it be wild if we pulled three in a row? That would be so unbelievable. It is crazy. I have been doing a bunch of sorting of just sort of our bulk cards recently, and it is like absolutely become a truth that sometimes the rare cards are more common than like some uncommon cards. I, well, and in this set in particular, there are so few rare cards total to, to choose from, which I think is why we had such a tie at the end. I think so. So I think what could really hurt someone here is if they pulled like a double rare. Or I know, yeah, yeah. Sometimes that happens. The Boon Suit, the Brassius, and the Gita! The Gita! Get out of here. What is the Gita worth? Is it more or less than 21 cents? Let's find out. The Gita is going to come in at 24 cents! Oh, 24 cents. So Rachel is eliminated from the last place competition with the Gita. Get out of here! There we go. Oh my gosh. How about that? Oh. But, but nothing is shaking up our, our top two leaders now. No, Sebastian and Matt. Maddie's still duking it out for last place at 21 cents. Not a common activity to put a whole pack of cards into one sleeve. I know, I was like, let me practice this. Is it even doable? Is it even doable? It, it can is. be done. We've seen it. Ah! I may have bent your gloom a little bit. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There it is, yeah. okay. Thanks for playing, Rachel. <laughs> Thank you. Next up we have Rozzy the King. Coming in, can they get, can they score that coveted 14 cents? We got a T-Tar pack for you here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Rozzy. I really just want someone to pull something massive. I know, it's hilariously I, I feel like, big. Yes, yes, that would be such a fun way to go. And it is so possible. Okay, let's see here. So we got the Oddish, the Dratini, the Charmander, the Audino, yeah. the Camerupt, the Claude Sire, the Grand Bull, the Pidgeotto will not score at all, the Daramaka will not score, and, and the, the Entei. Entei. Oh, the Entei might be less. 24 cents as oh, well. Oh my gosh. 24 cents. That is going to put Rozzy out of contention. Sebastian and Maddie hang on again, but no matter what, they will have to go through each other at this point. Man, this is unbelievable. So no though. one's so out of the woods yet. We have pulled, we pulled four packs. Every single one of them has been worth less than one quarter. Yes. 25 cents. And we have a tie and two people eliminated. So it's like in a game of last place in this, we are having such last place performances. I know. It's, it's ridiculous. Amazing, yeah. They came to play. They, they won did. this they last did. place. All right, next up is Stacy. One right from the front of the pack. Right from the front. Right from the front. We may know? as well. We may as well. They say save the best for last. So first must be worst. This could be it. That could be the case. All right, Stacy, what have we got? What is your last place card going to be? Cast kid. Nobody's even gotten two rares, which is I not know. even totally uncommon. Kangaskhan or the Darkrai. Dark is Darkrai last, ma last place material? Let's see. It is <gasps> 18 cents for the Darkrai. 18 cents. Oh my gosh. Sebastian and Maddie have been officially eliminated from the competition. Stacy. First is worst. First is worst. How about that? I mean, this is, it's like we're saying though, but see, once again, this is five packs in, all of last placers, all of whom still haven't cleared. No one's cleared a quarter. A one quarter's worth of value yet. Right? That is crazy. In fact, everyone we've opened today has not even cleared a dollar's worth. <laughs> so this, bo this box is a good one maybe to have, have come in for this particular challenge. Right? We picked the right one. We saved the we saved this one just special. The worst for last. There, there we, we go, go. Stacy. Your place cents. of honor. 18 cents. Something to defeat. All right, next up is Moss Twig. Moss Twig. Here we go. Here we go. We got a Charizard pack for you, Moss Twig. Mm. Let's see what we can't do. Big Zard energy. Big Zard energy. Let's Big Zard energy. All right, so we'll set that aside. We got that. The Togepi, Town Store, Casper Kid, Float Soul, the Umbreon, the Lapras, the Cleffa will not score, the Oinkalone will not score, and the, the Scovelin! Which we know is actually, this is gonna do it because it's worth 14 cents. It's what we pulled for Aaron and Tony. Oh my gosh, will the Scovelin be the hero of the day? Oh my God, can it be the double winner with its double pepper heads? So Stacy had it for one hot second, but not for any longer Stacey than that. Stacy is out, Mossweg Moss Moss is in. But see now, Mossweg is in an interesting spot because 14 cents is as low as we can go. This is a winning move, but will anyone else pull a 14 cent pack? I know, that's the thing. And normally what I would be saying right about now is like the potential energy is building for us to pull a good card. And I guess maybe it's the exact same thing, but it's yeah. like, we can only pull so many bad cards from well, the this same is, box. I know, that's sort of the thing. It's like, you gotta feel like, 
uh, Mosswig's in a pretty good spot because not only have we pulled a bunch of just like bummer cards so far, but Aaron and Tony have already pulled another 14 center out of the box for them. You're right. You're so right. like there's yep. one, there's potentially one less, but it's time for Goddess Princess and she, you know, <laughs> Goddess Princess has has held, I think, every single title, I know. including Goddess and Princess. Right. So can can she prove play? Hold the title of spoiler now. We're about to find out. Lost Wigs. Yeah, let's see. Him, I'm, I, I, dude, I have a feeling. I you got have a feeling? a feeling. You got a feeling? Okay. About right. Goddess Princess here. Let's see. The Sinistee, the Pawnar, the Char Cadet, the Gramble, the Malamar, the Grumpig, the Crabrawler will not score, the Otters will not score, and the Toxtricity. <gasps> Is it a 14 cent card? It might be. Let's I don't see. know. Number 72 on the set. No one's pulled it yet. It's a 14 cent it's card. A 14 it's a 14 cent, cent card. card. What the heck? What the heck? I told you, Goddess Princess always comes to play. Wow. Well, just like that, Mosswig is now officially tied with Goddess Princess. So no matter what, we're gonna have to be going into like um, double sudden death for at least these two. At least these two. So the, the good news is now is that anybody else who scores 14 cents is getting yet another pack. Exactly. So there we go. We got Goddess Princess and Mosswig. Let's see if we can pull another just absolute baloney pack. Let's do it. And who's All right. it for? We have got John Borg John on the Borg. board. John Borg. Someone, I mean, honestly, at this point in time, you'd even just hope the consolation prize of just pulling something cool must be left. But I I mean, know, we are right? pulling completely randomly. There's no rhyme or reason to how we're going about it. So Games Bond has got the only ultra rare card of the day. Yep. So we got the Pidgey, the Small F, the Bunnelby, yeah. the Rowlet, the Armor Rouge, the Ortega, the Volcarona, the Lanoon will not score, the Poppy will not score, and the Scizor. The Scizor will. Is it a 14 sensor? It looks way better than a 14 sensor if I had to. 22 yes. cents. 22, get on 22. out of here, John Borg. John oh, Borg. John Borg, unfortunately. Out of the competition. It's like, it's like, how'd you lose? It's like, well, I only pulled a card worth 22 cents. It's like, wow, that, that wasn't sucky enough? It's like, it wasn't. Apparently not. It was far too You can't believe how bad my competitors are. <laughs> I'm just too good. Just too good. There we go, John Borg. Go, John Borg. Enjoy your work hard. All right, next up we have got Vincent. Okay, Jay, I'm I'm literally, I'm like blown away. I, mean, I know. At least half of the box. We have cherry have. picked such nonsense out of this box have, so far. We have, we have. I mean, you can't yeah. write this up. Yeah, this is, this is on, this is crazy. Can Vincent score another 14 cents and join our uh, double sudden elimination? Round. We have the Armorage, the Amoongus, the Glimmit will not score, the Drill Burr, and the Scobalin is back! Yes! Vincent makes it a three-way tie for last place. That is the third Scovalin we pulled from this box. This is crazy. I'm actually this is actually a very fun, like it's very tense. It is very tense. It is very tense. It's like, it's like, how on earth is this even happening? But that means we now have a three-way competition. Oops, hang on, my pack's breaking here on me. Uh, a three-way competition going into uh, what what has to be sudden death round two. I know, right? So we have two more competitors. Vicky is up next. Can Vicky make it a final four? Vicky, unfortunately for you, there's almost no way that there's any more bad packs in the set. So you're just gonna have to deal with getting a good card, most likely. I mean, this, this is this is an unheard of like bad run. This is. I mean, even the fact that like our our lack of luck is working out so well. I know. All right, let's see. But it's making it interesting to me, so that counts for something. We got the Togo tomorrow, the Ma Wild the new mail, the Tadbulb, the Wishcash, the Floatzel, the Umbreon, the Excadrill will not score, the Bronzor will not score, and, and the, the Scizor! We know it was worth 22 <laughs> sets to knock Vicky out of the running. So unfortunately, you also got a not very good card and mm. didn't even get to qualify for last. So you and John Borg can, you know, hang out at the in the at the bar and play rock, paper, scissor, scissor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what a fun game. I know, right? You'll always lose. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Except in this game. Yeah. All right, and our final contestant for round one is Kyle McCoon. Kyle McCoon. You're All up right, I am up. What have we got for Kyle? Something real. Let's make I you know, I kinda of want a final four situation, you know? It's like as we're recording, it's March. It's March Madness is happening. It's true. It's true. I know. Yeah. So let's let's, let's see, see what, something interesting play out. What have we got here? What is going to get last place? Maybe, or is it just a final three? The Belly Bolt, the Carvan, and the Salandit, and the Gita. Oh my God! Is Gita? No, Gita is out. Gita is out. Gita is Gita out. Is out. So, that is going to be a twenty-four cent card, which means that Kyle is out. Get out of here! Wow. Okay, Jay. So, on the whole, we had two top or two thunderuses, 
two Gitas, yeah, two, two scissors. scissors, two Scovelins. Uh, three Scovelins on the box. Three on the box. But well, one was for Aaron and Big Steve. So Scovelin putting in a lot of work today. Oh my goodness. So well, Kyle, there you go. There Enjoy you go. your Gita. Um, and now we are down to our final our three. Final three, Goddess Princess. Moss Twig and Vincent. So well, once again, what we're aiming for is still the lowest value card. And I mean, I, genuinely, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just saying it. There can't be that many low value uh, there cards. There really left. can. This is crazy. Uh, can you hand me some more sleeves? Yes, real I absolutely quick? can. Here we yeah, go to protect all these crummy cards. All right, I've got a couple more here. Bam. Net first up on the day, or first up in the final three is going to be, we're gonna go right back down the line. So we're gonna start with Moss Twig again. Okay. Are we ready? Pulling for Moss Twig. We're like, everyone's still tied again, so we're still just looking for last place. Could Moss Twig go double Scoville in? Could, Could there be, be four in the box? Is it even possible? I don't even know. Let's find out. Let's find out. What has Moss Twig going to bring to the table for us? The Pawn Rod, the Charcadet, Toxel, Lapras, Masquerade, the Gumshoes, the Rhyme. <gasps> oh, instead, going home with a double win. So Mostwig is not going to be in last place, but is going to pull the gold Charizard and a Melmetal EX to boot. Wow. Look at that. Well, Mostwig has to be happy with the way it went down. That's yeah. amazing. Cannot be upset with that. You yeah, that, that Charizard insane. alone is a $23.44 card. Wow. Yeah, so, so that's absolutely incredible for Moss Twig. Well done. What a indeed. losing play. I know, seriously. Get yeah. out of here, Moss Twig. Not, not, not to be rude or anything, Moss Twig, but you stand no chance. Yeah. Due to your excellent performance. Yeah, unless, unless, unless. these people pull even more fire. This is unbelievable. Which well, I, I'm just gonna assume isn't gonna happen. All right, Goddess Princess. But unless we see the other Charizard, I think it's, the good news though, if you're Goddess Princess or Vincent, I mean, it's like you'd love to see yourself pull the Charizard, but also that means you're in great standing for winning the ETB. So let's right. see. So going out, this is Goddess Princess's box. We got the yes. the Tynamo, the Grievard, the Numel, the Surskit, the Arvin, the Stunfist, the Umbreon, the Scyther will Very not nice. score, the Toxel will not score, oh, and the Ortega. It's the Ortega. Everyone is tripping at the line. Okay, so what is the Ortega worth? All right, let's see number we got it's like when you go to the last page it's so funny so only a dollar 19 so one dollar 19 for the ortega still a full art card though oh so. my gosh that is gonna put them at a dollar 33 total okay for uh goddess princess so vincent needs less than that it has been an exciting final round look at this look at the look at the like bling i know of, like, all the, of like, a sudden the such non-pulls okay so all you're right. up jay you want to last last pack of the season right unless you pull something worth exactly a dollar 19. um let's see let's go right here or Vincent. No, a dollar, is it a dollar 33? Oh, a dollar 19, yeah. yes. Unless you pull something worth exactly a dollar 19, this is the last pack. Okay, okay. Yes. Ba bam. Here we go. All right. Let's That's see. gonna be the energy. We've got the Lampent, the Togepi, the Lechonk, the Graveyard, the Salazzle, Wug Trio, Kangaskhan, Palafin, Magneton will not score, and the Scovelin does it! And the double Scovelin for Vincent! I don't believe it! That is, well, so uh, that is crazy that we, we found yet another. There is also the Palafin that oh. we need to check, but I don't think that that's going to make any bit of a difference Oh my whatsoever. gosh, unless, yeah, there's no way the Palafin's worth more than the Ortega. There's no way. So 20 cents for the Palafin, okay, so, so 34. So Vincent, 34 cents. Vincent did it. Vincent was able to double Scovelin out, basically as terrible a play <laughs> as you could possibly imagine. I would be so curious to know what Vincent's pack was to get 14 cents, because this could mean that three packs inside of one season yeah. all, all potentially could have been. They're all, all 14, 14 cents. sensors. Yeah. yeah. So I, there, there's... I, that is crazy. Did they pull three Scoville in? That Could you wild. imagine? There's no way. Uh, there's no way. There's no way. I, but I mean, there, there is a way. There but is a way. There you go. Two, so. so congratulations anyway. to uh, to Vincent for winning that last place award. Also, congratulations to Team Electric for their commanding lead yes. at the end of this season. Yes. Team Electric came out on top with 132 points. Team Water was like trailing behind at 74 points. But the difference between first 
in second place was even more than reigning champs Team Grass even had. Yeah. So Team Grass just, I mean, despite it fell the, off hard. Despite the dynasty, unfortunately, did not come through on this particular. Right. None of this and, overtime stuff counted for the team competition either. No, none of this. Yeah, at this all, is all yeah. outside so of is, league play. Yeah, you know? so outside of league play. So yeah. just for tiebreaker reasons. Yep. Uh, but then, of course, we also need to give a huge shout out to our overall season champion of Haley and Colin, who won by virtue um, of pulling a dark rye at 18 cents instead of a clay doll at 14 cents, Woo! even though there was a two way tie. It's insane. For what the top. a season. I know. Unbelievable. So congrats to Haley and Colin, this month's season champions. Uh, and then also Megan K coming in eighth place, uh, having just the eighth most number of points. So Megan K <clears throat> in our quality eighth place spot. What a wild and wacky season that we've had that is that was that was a truly weird one but don't you guys worry we already have the boxes in hand for our next season which is going to be temporal forces we've opened a few here in office there's a bunch of new mechanics in this one that make it uh really fun i think we're gonna have a lot of mid-range uh, big points in there, which is going to be cool. It's going to be great. Yeah, the, the boxes that we've opened, we opened one just like for for ourselves, and it was loaded. Loaded. So I am like fingers, toes, <laughs> eyes, everything crossed, hoping that uh, we end up having some amazing boxes and packs for you guys. And next month will be the kickoff of a three-month season. So if you've been on the edge or you want to get in on that rookie competition or you want to be able to compete for last place, you got as just as a reminder, you need at least two packs in the equation. So great time to sign up. Up. But otherwise, guys, we will see you next time. Hariyama! I paused for a minute. I was like, Wait. are you there? <laughs> Did he forget? Was he going to say bye? <laughs>